summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do So many times I try But I just don't remember
you're all doing well as part of today's day in my life vlog i thought that i would sit down and share some of my learnings that i personally wish i knew before becoming a data scientist for those of you that are new to my channel welcome my name is vivian and i am a data scientist working and living in sydney australia and i have been in this industry for the past five ish years I know that many of you are also aspiring data scientists out there so hopefully these things that I'm going to cover off today can help some of you out there. I think for me my biggest learning is not to be blinded by a job title solely. As data science continues to increase in popularity over the last couple of years, there are several job titles that have been floating around, namely data scientist, data analyst, data engineer, machine learning engineer, AI specialist, and the list goes on. Over time, I've realized that job titles can be extremely misleading and responsibilities of the same title can vary immensely from company to company. So make sure you're reading the job description properly and paying careful attention to the tech stack and technical skills required instead of just focusing on the job title itself. As an example, I've seen countless roles being advertised as a data scientist, however are more of business analyst roles that focus on communicating insights and findings to not so technical stakeholders, whereas other data scientist roles can be a lot more technical and machine learning focused. The second learning for me that was hard to swallow is that in order to make an impact, you need the executives in your business to believe in the power of data. And please make sure you figure this out before joining a potential company. No matter how brilliant you think you are, if you don't have buy-in at that top level, it's just not going to happen. You can be hired for a role hoping to be building great fancy models and making a lot of impact. But unfortunately, no one is going to sign up on the project if it's not part of your company's plan on a page. My third learning is just to be realistic and know that fancy machine learning algorithms are going to be very little of your day-to-day -day work. Modeling probably just represents 10 to 20% of the entire machine learning lifecycle, and that's only if you're building projects. If you're doing BAU ad hoc analysis for stakeholders and supporting pillars across the business, then you're going to be touching no machine learning at all. Feel free to check out my video that I'm going to link here on basically everything that I do at work as a data scientist. I think another thing that's really important to keep in mind is to understand that not all of the work you do is going to get productionized or adopted by the business. Even if the project has been signed off at the executive level, sometimes company priorities can shift and all the time that you spend building a model for it to not actually be implemented. I know that this can be a very discouraging feeling, but please know that this is only natural and has happened to me countless times as well. And lastly, I can't emphasize how important it is for you to advocate for yourself and convey that value add that your work is providing. Unfortunately, doing your nine to five and satisfying your KPIs is just not enough. You need to highlight how your work in particular is helping the business so that you can get recognized for it and that stakeholders will know your name. Maybe you're sitting there thinking this isn't as important, but please trust me on this. This is crucial for your career development and securing that promotion and pay rise when your review cycle comes around. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Please know that my intentions are not to demotivate you. It's purely so that you know the realities before you decide to pursue a career in data science. Um, thanks again to Ana Luisa for sending through your pieces and for partnering with me on today's video. Um, please check out the link down in my description box and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!